Hey everyone and welcome to Crypto Explained. My name is Max. This video today is going to be all about Numerare and its native NMR token. It's part of my What Is series where I'm diving into specific crypto projects and talking about how they actually work, who's behind it, whether I invest in it personally, and then just kind of the reasons behind that and the future outlook I see for the next couple years for the project. So if you're interested in content like that, but maybe for a different crypto project, definitely swing by my channel when you get the chance. I've got plenty of these uploaded and plenty more on the way. But for now, let's focus in on Numerare. So Numerare is actually a real word. It's not just the San Francisco-based hedge fund that we're going to be talking about today. The word Numerare means a standard by which value is computed. So if you think about the gold standard, back when our monetary system was actually backed by gold, uh, gold would be considered a Numerare in that situation. So that's just kind of a little background on how I think they got their name. I think it's kind of interesting. But the actual company Numerare, like I said, San Francisco-based hedge fund, and what they're trying to do with this crypto project is actually pretty interesting and something that we've talked about before with Augur, but I don't think there's a lot of other uh, projects out there trying to accomplish this. They're basically using the power of crowdsourcing to try to create this prediction-based algorithm that's going to be able to predict and figure out certain things within this, the world stock market. Um, so definitely U.S. stock market, but also just the stock markets around the world. I think this is pretty interesting because they, the way they have it set up is awesome. And I think that the, they just they thought about what would be the best way for us to get the best algorithms and for us to be able to kind of crowdsource and see, get all this information and make our system smarter and kind of get all this data input. What they did was they created a weekly tournament. Um, and this tournament is for data scientists that create prediction-based algorithms. So if you are a data scientist and you're looking for a way to make some cash, these tournaments are weekly and what they do essentially is they find whoever has the best algorithm and they're all prediction models so it's, it's all based on like how can we predict you know trends in the stock market how can we predict certain things that are happening within the economy all of these things are essentially open for this tournament and whoever comes up with the best it takes about three weeks for them to judge and for them to kind of put the algorithm to, to the test and see if it actually works but during this time, if you do have the winning algorithm, you are actually paid in Bitcoin. And uh, I think they're paid pretty heavily. So it's definitely something that's it's very competitive, but it's a great way for both Numerare to get their system a little smarter and to get better data input and to get better algorithms. Um, and on top of that, I mean, if you are a data scientist and you're working on a prediction-based model, this is a great way to kind of put it to the test and see if you can win some money. Uh, basically what happens is, if you, you have to stake some NMR tokens. So NMR tokens are an Ethereum-based ERC-20 token um, that kind of just make this whole system work. So you have, to, you have to essentially stake your NMR tokens, and if you win, you get the NMR tokens back along with the Bitcoin for the reward. And if you lose, you, you end up losing those NMR tokens. That's kind of you know, the wager that you have to place to get into the tournament. Uh, but really fascinating, right? I mean, this is something that definitely hasn't been done before in this in this way, um, where they're completely going to crowdsourcing. And they, the, the, the thing about AI is you have to be able to put a lot of data into this algorithm. Otherwise, it's not going to really be able to predict anything. And it's not going to be able to pick up patterns and all of those things that make a good algorithm. So when you have a situation where you have maybe thousands of data scientists every week, um, you know, having these algorithms put to the test, it's a really great way to kind of uh, refine your product and be able to make it. I think that they're definitely, they're, they're hedge fund obviously, so they're trying to make money based off of um, their ability for their AI to predict certain trends. So that's kind of how Numerare works. It's, it's really interesting. You, can, you yourself can buy NMR tokens. You don't have to enter the tournament to buy those NMR tokens. Uh, the max supply eventually is going to be about 11 million NMR tokens. So it is pretty small sample size. Um, so I think it's trading around $33. But I, again, I don't really know why I even say these things because they'll definitely change by the time if you watch this video in six months, it'll be a way different price. Uh, but anyway, that just kind of gives you an idea of where it is during the recording of this video. And like I said, 11 million max supply. So that's how NMR tokens work and kind of how the Numerare ecosystem is built. It's built through crowdsourcing and try, trying to find these data scientists who have these uh, prediction models that work the best. And they're put to the test and they compete with other um, algorithms and other prediction models. It's, it's actually really cool. 
And I, I think it's a great way to kind of get that, um, that info that you need because otherwise it's gonna take a long time to collect all the data um, in order to make your AI um, serviceable essentially. So they're kind of taking the quick route to how can we get all of the world's information and all of the world's data. Um, and you know, obviously data scientists, they each have their own niche. So they're, they're, they're thinking of things differently. It's just a lot of different perspectives. Kind of think of it as like a focus group. Like it's just a lot of different perspectives that you gain. So you kind of have a better idea how, um, you know, everyone's thinking about this problem and maybe someone has a better idea to fix the problem than you have. So that's what Numer is trying to accomplish. Uh, I myself don't hold any NMR tokens. I don't really see the point um, unless you are, you know, competing for Bitcoin within these tournaments. Uh, but a lot of people do this and a lot of people make a lot of money off of this because if you win a couple Bitcoins, obviously we know how good Bitcoin has had, had it this, in 2020, it's just an amazing year. And a lot of us think that 2021 is going to be even a better year for Bitcoin. Um, so you're getting Bitcoin in um, Satoshis or an entire Bitcoin. It's not based on the amount of money that it is. So if you get paid, let's say you make $10,000 in Bitcoin today, yeah, that, that could be you know, $100,000 in Bitcoin five years from now. So that's what's really interesting is you, even though you are, so you're paid in Bitcoin, so you're not paid in US dollars. So even though um, you have to put a wager with NMR tokens to, to gain the tournament, um, once you're in, and if you do have a prediction model that is able to compete with, with some of the best, you have a chance to make a real killing doing this. So that's, oh, that's a little bit about Numerair. This isn't a project that I'm directly involved in at all. I just think it's kind of cool to see what they're doing, the take that they have on this. Anytime there's a unique project that kind of separates itself from the pack, I definitely like to keep an eye on that because we have so many projects that focus on the same thing and then they're just kind of in a race together. And I know we've mentioned Augur before, but I think Augur is really the only other uh, open crowdsource type thing where they're trying to um, incentivize people to join and to kind of collect their data and their ideas um, to make the whole system work better. So if you have any questions about Numerare or the NMR token, make sure you put it in the comment section below. I'm always looking for you know new people to talk to on YouTube. That's kind of the whole purpose behind this channel is to just broaden my perspective, hear other people's perspectives. So if you've got any concerns, criticisms, whatever, uh, put that in the comment section. And I also would really appreciate if you guys could subscribe to the channel and like the video. Both of those things help me out greatly with overall exposure through the YouTube algorithm. So the YouTube algorithm actually rewards both of those things quite heavily. So it takes a second of your time. If you wouldn't mind, if you did enjoy the video, I'd really, really appreciate that. Um, and thanks guys so much for tuning in. I really appreciate all of your support so far. There's plenty more content on the way. And as we get closer to 2021, we're gonna have a lot to talk about. So um, definitely stay tuned. Thanks guys.